streets, trade streets. Alabama game? Be repeatable. Oh, man, you're going to go right for it. <laughs> go, for the, go for the jugular. I like it. I did cite stats earlier. Yeah, when I just talked about that. So he didn't do well against even Boston College. I mean, t- continual. Hey, he did well against Florida, and that was one of the best D-lines he played. Yep, so like one, but I want to see that more. It's a little grainy here. No, I, I know I have oh the all 22 gosh. for this one. Oh, my gosh. Just instinctual. Good cut there, see, but, too. And that's the thing. He Just strings it out. Strings it continual. Strings it, yes. The thing, so if you want to look at the difference between him and Akers is – he is not near the overall athlete that Akers is, but he has a much bigger um, problem-solving uh, skill set. I would say he's probably he has a better feel for the game. Yeah. So right here, he dipped in. That's Diggs there, Stefan Diggs' brother here, seven. He dipped in. He dipped in right there. And before going out, mm-hmm. he's setting him up. He's so elusive. Mm-hmm. Little face mask. Oh, it feels like almost never where the first guy brings him down. I mean, he always makes at least one guy miss on almost every play. But I also don't think he's going to, like, bust out, like, a 70-yarder like Akers could. That's the difference. I yeah, have... he's not an elite athlete. No. Sea dog asks, um, where do we have Clyde ranked right now in our running back ranks? I think I have him fifth right now, just above Keyshawn I be- Vaughn. I believe I have him fifth as well. Yeah, which, honestly, man, he might be moving up for me, like, when it's all said and done. I think yeah. he's four for me. Yeah. Okay. I just, think it's four. Fawn's five. I think Acres is six. Right now in my head, I think that's where it's uh, at. Honestly, I have I have Dobbins and Acres at the top. I've I've or not Dobbins and Acres. I've I've Swift and Acres at the top. Swift and Dobbins. Wow. <laughs> Swift and Dobbins are at the top. I knew what you were and trying then to say. I yeah. I don't know what's wrong with and, me. But then the group of of five after that are all really really close for me. Can I ask you this then? Yeah. Where I struggle is, what does Dobbins do better than Clyde? Uh, he's definitely faster. He's definitely stronger. Um, I I would say that Edwards Hilaire is more elusive, um, but I think Dobbins is much better between the tackles. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I agree that Dobbins like, is think, much better between okay. the tackles. I think he's a little more of patient of a runner. Um I think they both oh, can Jamar. help you in the pass game, but I think Clyde is just elite there. See, I just think, I mean, I know, I think Dobbins is a better uh, speed, but I think Edward Zillard is quicker. I agree with that. So they might be a little, I don't know, I, that way I'm like, okay, they could be kind of equaler athletes. Uh, Edward Zillard is a lot shorter to the ground. Dobbins is a little bit bigger. We have, maybe we have to watch more on the power, but... I like the... I think uh, very Ray Rice close. comp. Seen a lot of people yeah. say that. No, I agree. Ray Rice was 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 the guy that I uh, he reminded me of pretty quickly there. He's a high, high IQ player too. It Does seems the perception of playing in the college football playoffs push people up. Sure it does. Yep, yep. I think so. Yeah, I mean more I mean, on the Jay, national should... stage. Mm-hmm. Get the casual people talking about him a little more. Plus, he showed out on on those games. So he did. See, this is this is something that I, I'll I'll be slightly nitpicky with. There was no need to dance that much there. Why not? Nine's in the hole. Just put your head down and go. So well, run it, we're running at full speed again. Well, DN dips inside, so it's an idea to go outside here. I thought. No. So, so like he, right here, he bounces and then bounces back in. I don't know. What I would have liked to have seen is that first cut I'm fine with, but that second cut back inside there, I don't know why after that first cut he didn't just put his head down and get as much as he Well, can you go back? Just look at the DN and tell me what you would do. DN's inside, then DN throws tackle and goes back outside. Yeah. I thought that's all I, I'm I, But I don't know why he went outside to begin with is what I'm saying. Like the why DN's after inside. that first cut? Go. Right there. So okay. now outside's open. First cut. Yeah. Is outside not open? I, I, I would have I would have put my head down and go and gone there. It looked it looked like there was a hole there. Oh, here we go. 
Just that oh, natural yeah. hands on this guy. Here we just go. watch him pluck. I mean, it's a simple, simple catch, five yards away, but just the way he. Doop. Yep. And so he's confident. You can tell he's really confident with that. Yeah. And it's funny, you watch some guys, and it, it's almost like they're fighting themselves to try to mm -hmm. catch the football. Yeah. Um, Both guys we watched tonight are pretty natural at catching the ball. Yeah. So I would say him, Swift, and Akers have the best hands, and it's really not even close. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I know Dobbins is okay there, but I, he's yeah. not. He's not on that tier no. for, for pass catching. No, I agree. Although he actually runs decent routes for a running back. Dobbins? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Third and two. He got it. He got he got clapped up, but he got he got the first down. Yeah. See, what does he weigh? Two ten, I think. Two fifteen. He's five eight. So he's yeah, compact. Just good weight for dude. that size. Hell yeah. Right. If he's five eight. Yeah, we'll see. Some of some of those these uh, weights and heights are always interesting. I know Eno took a <clears> big <throat> step back with that. You know, one ninety five there. See, I was so unhappy with his film. I don't think oh, he's as powerful as like a lot of the guys are saying nationally. I mean, uh, I, uh, Clyde? Edward Dulaire. Yeah. That's why I've always hated the MJD comp because MJD was a much more powerful back than Edward Dulaire is. Well, and, and hold on. And MJD ran way faster than. Yeah, I agree with that Ooh. too. Man, that's special. Yeah, I know. That's, yeah, that's where he is. He's so elusive. Ooh. You're not going to. God. That's why I feel a little bit more Devonte Freeman. Just look how quick he's able Ooh. to turn there. Look, I don't hate that, Nick. Hips. I haven't heard that comp, but I don't hate that. Yeah, a little a more limited athlete. He's so natural, feel, yeah. short area. Mm -hmm. He's going to have the size questions. Can he hold up? Dude, he's wide open up the same. I know. Yeah, he is. He'll, he'll, he'll get that, that smash concept later. Remember where they have that here? Hey, turn off film block for your quarterback. I like that. Yep. Little IQ plays like that. Yep. I like that. Valdar said Duke Johnson. See, I think Duke Johnson was way more soft in college in between the tackles than at LA. I agree. Um, but but I do I do I, I think I don't There's think he's gonna be here. able to take Good job. Uh, you know a fifteen carry and eighteen carry a game, game in, game out between the tackles. Uh, they're gonna have to. They're gonna have to get him outside. They're gonna have to get him, uh, you know, off off tackle. Um, you know, I think if, if they're plunging him up the middle, one, they're not utilizing his skill set, obviously. No. Um, but but I don't know that he can take that kind of pounding and still be productive. Uh, he yeah. could be that James White role. Put him in New yeah. England. He's that new person there. Yeah, we, we, He's we gonna talked be through that one play. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Well, we we just talked to that one play, Jordan. You comment on it. I mean, there was. D lineman shot the gap. Yep. He jump cut it, broke the tackle, and still got like two or three yards. Yep. That, that's the thing I think that people miss the most is that running backs that can get those dirty yards. That's what being a running back is. It's not yep. these glamorous, huge highlight. I mean, if it's an open hole, any running back hits the open hole and gets a big gain. It's about when there's nothing there and you can muddy your way to get a few yards. Because, Garrett, you can correct me if I'm wrong. We taught our running backs no matter what the blocking is, your job is three yards. Yep. Yeah. And so three yards and fall forward. Yep. And if you can't get that then on a consistent basis, then that's a struggle. And and that was the one thing that, you know, I when we, we brought up Jonathan Taylor earlier, he he doesn't get a lot of those yards. And it's he gets what's blocked, which is great. And sometimes he'll even break it off of that. But he when it's not blocked, he's not getting it. And that's my concern. If he goes to the Colts or if he goes to uh, you know, the Niners, he goes somebody with a you know, a good O line. He's gonna be great, but if he ends up in like a like a Tampa Bay, or he ends up in you know somewhere like that, I'm I'm very concerned that he'll be able to do you know to, to make the plays that he made in college. Yeah. He's more run. He's more dependent on his O line because he he stays with the play design and he's not creative. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, man. A little little narrative driven here, but I do love that. Uh, you know, everyone kind of assumed that John Emery Jr. was going to be the running back this year. Yep. Um, wow. and, and he was able to hold off a five-star all year long. I love seeing that, that competitive, that, that grit uh, in a running back. I, uh, man, I, keep, I can't think of the guy's name right now. I like their other back. 
Uh, who is it? Uh, Tor- uh, Prince Price Pierce uh, uh, Damian Pierce. Like I think. Oh, no. no, no, that's that's not. Florida. Yeah, I can't think of the name offhand. I was a big fan of him out of college. Yeah. Remind me of uh, Marshawn. Oh, here's the here's the smash concept. Yeah. I love this out of the backfield. He's a clear out. You have a guy running that shell, and then boom, I love it. Up the scene. Oh, that's the guys hold. I, I saw up this. There. And I took notes. I'm like, I would run this in high school. It's gonna be amazing. And I mean, you throw him the ball, he's gonna catch it. Mm. But like, even in that route, like, yeah, he's patient. He doesn't stick it and go out there way t- too soon. You know. He runs up the seam to keep that backer and then dips out. So here you can see it. Isn't I one? would love him in KC. I think uh, that's yeah, a... I saw that just now too. I think he's the best fit out of anybody for, to be a Kansas City running back. Yeah. Now, if he goes to Kansas City, how high is his draft position in rookie draft? I mean, top three. I th- yeah, he he'll, he, he would go st- top three. Uh, unless they well, guess land what? in the worst landing spots ever. I, I can't see myself putting him ahead of Swift and Dobbins. Yeah, I, I could guess... put him ahead of the wide receivers. I could put him ahead of all the other running backs. I don't know that I could quite do that. Unless, like I said, it's like just a terrible, terrible landing spot. Right. I mean, if they take him. What, what about you, Nick? Man. Um... The end of the first round. First round draft capital. You think he'll go in the first? Do, do they have a first round pick? No, I don't think they do. Play that play. I think, um, I think he's a day saying. two guy. Yeah, I mean, if it's first round, that would change it a little bit for me. To me, it would depend. I'm not as I'm not as Gaga and Dobbins as everyone else is. Um, I think he'd probably be 103 would be as high as I'd go if he went to KC, no matter where everyone else went. Yeah, just this little subtle movement here, where he uh, right here, he like nods in a little bit to hold the guy, to hold yeah. the linebacker, the safety. And that's that patience. You know, uh, patience isn't always just sitting there chopping your feet behind the line of scrimmage no. waiting for a hole to open up. I think that's one of the things that if they doesn't look like Le'Veon Bell, people are saying he's not patient. This is great patience yep. baiting the defender. Yeah, and this is what well, Nick was talking about with setting up your setting up your blocks. Yeah. But even look at this. Look at 73. Go back and watch. 73 gets beat, and, and he cuts the way the lineman is because he knows he can avoid him. That's so confident with your running. Knowing that I'm going to cut the way the D lineman has already beat my lineman, I know I'm still going to get through there. That's, I love that. Again, he like jabs in a little bit, you know, because he knows he knows where he's going already, but he sets now his again, blockers up. This O line's really nice. For me. Oh this yeah, is a very good O line. Yeah. I think they're they won the uh, what was that award? What's Joe Moore Award? Best O line in the country. I honestly don't know. I didn't know that. I don't think they have what three guys declare. Yep, same thing. That was, that was a lane. <laughs> Nick would have run through that one. For See, what I what I like here though, once he gets back in here, he gets more yards there than other backs would have got. He dipped into the defender. Mm-hmm. Watch watch him cut into digs right here. His feet keep going too. Yep. Yep. So these are all hidden yards right there. He got another four yards after hitting digs. Ooh, that route. This angle route. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. he almost went down. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, he did. Bro, that was a crossover. Yeah. You, you know, that's interesting you said that, Garrett. I was looking at um, this video, and it was, uh, was it Golden Tate? No, it was um, Doug Baldwin. Talked about running routes. And if you see him, He'll literally use his hands like he's doing a crossover. I saw that video too. Oh, it was awesome. I saw that video too. Uh, there, and there's one other guy that oh, does right, it too. Right it might be Diggs. It might be Stefan Diggs that does it. Watch, does watch this too. jump cut at the end. Oh, boy. This is oh, this disgusting. Is just, I know. It's so amazing. The, the route. The route, first of all. Yeah, route. The same route. They ran the same play almost. Does he make two guys avoid here? Makes I think eight he avoid. Yes. Okay, that's awesome. And then right here. Boop. Oh my god! To get the first down, oh, what was the what was the down and distance on that? Stringing them together, first and ten. Uh, first down, okay. I'm telling you, Acres could never do that. Boom! No, I don't think there's. I'm not sure. I don't think I'm Swift really has that in his arsenal. He's not really a spin spin guy. No. He's more. He has that dead leg. That. Right. Which is that one right there? But not the first one. Yeah, you're right. Dobbins maybe, but. 
I think he's quicker than Dobbins. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think he might be the quickest back in the class. Yeah. You know, the like straight that, line Oh, like right there. Could have went out of bounds, but did not. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm going to get one, two. I mean, he got another seven yards. Almost five yards, yeah. Uh, and I do love seeing that out of running backs. And granted, like, I'm a little more old school, but like, it drives me nuts when I see running backs run out of bounds. Like, that's for quarterbacks. Like, let quarterbacks run out of bounds. Chill, bro. You put your head down and get a, a few extra yards. Yep. I am talking to two quarterbacks, so hopefully he doesn't. You know. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Protect the body. Joe Burrow doesn't believe in that all the time. No, I love Joe. I mean, he got, remember that play you got led yeah. Was at Auburn? Dude, that – his, his escape ability. That was, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's special. good. Yeah. See, and this is the other Spoiler. thing that I like about Edwards Alaire that's, oh, he can line up, can. he can line up wide. And that's going to add value. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sure. Fight. Dude, I'm on third down. Dude, they made this happen. He can line up wide. He's going to get this catch. He gets dang close. I don't and that guy's on his it. ankles. Like, Did he that's going to hurt. He's got it. His knee didn't. His his knee did not go down. I can't he? remember if he gets this, but in my eyes, he's got it. He's not down. Watch him because that defender's hurt. underneath him. Ankle, ankle, like that's the defender's underneath him. I think he got that. <laughs> look how look how hyped they are on the sidelines. That's For what I love. Sure. Oh, that was how that first run of the game. This in this game. Guys, I'm sorry. This is just a love fest. If you watched it the Higgins really one last week, it's the same thing. Just love fest right here. Yeah. We were much I mean, I also picked Grouchy one of his best games. Me. It's true. Yeah, you go to a bad game. Go to the worst game. I don't even know. <laughs> kind of fell there. I think he was anticipating contact. Yeah, yeah, he was. I mean, this hole's pretty easy to see. See, here you didn't have that. Yeah. Just wait, go. Wait, wait, hold, but he didn't really have a plan there. That's the one I'd... No. I mean, there's three guys. Two guys closing in on him. I'd like to see him just stay with it. Yeah, you see him brace for contact there. Split two. Yeah. So, a brace. Yeah. so real commission brought this up. He's like, it's easier to see what you're talking about with setting up the blocks when you can see it compared to someone that's good at it. So this is a very different. So Edward Ziller has a plan of how he's going to set up linebackers versus Akers who, has, who doesn't. So that they're kind of night and day. Look at that cut block. Got him. Yeah, it's a good one. Although he might have just used just his hand and grabbed a foot, but he got it done. <laughs> Watch him grab his left. I think his knee caught his. Uh, yeah. His knee caught the. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Caught his knee there. The knee and, then, <laughs> and then the the arm. Yep, he grabbed that shoelace. Oh, flipped him. And I'll tell you what, my pause work's been on point tonight. Ooh, it really ooh. has been. That's another two I love the fight, but yeah, that's that's where the strength's going to come into question because, you know, he he's not he's not typically carrying guys uh, to get that extra yardage. Gosh, he's just so good. He is, man. I feel like he keeps climbing up every time I like watch him. I know. I'm like, well, this is the up. game. Like I watch other games. I know, he's right? Not this sexy. Ooh, that catch, it's dude. True. Look at this catch. Yeah, this catch. And then here, it's third that down, third and 10. He's got hit. Okay, what's he going to do? And then he tries to run him over and he gets it. Man. Like, dude. God. Dude. Gamer. Go, go to another game. It's the second big third we down. We can't watch this got... game anymore. Go it's to another good. game. Okay. It's too good. It's too good. Go to some. Let's look up a game. He had a where's, where's a game where he had like 43 yards? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to do it right now. I'm gonna it is 11.30, stats. so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on to the next go, game. Go this real quick, yeah. Cool. Um... Trying to think. Right now I'm pulling it up. National championship to, game. Auburn. Oh, How do you do against Auburn? So it's like probably Auburn, good because he's usually good. Five point two yards per carry, one thirty six a touch. What other games we Auburn's got? a good defense. Clemson. Though, so you... Clemson, one ten, six point nine. We don't we have to pick let's like do, a bad game. Let's do Auburn. Like, we just do like I don't know way. that he has many bad games. That's a thing. I mean it's, I like seeing him against quality opponents, and yeah. Auburn's another a good defense. Yeah. Plus, it's on Vimeo, so. <laughs> and it is not on Daily Motion. <laughs> Daily Motion. <laughs> so bad. Okay, route. Yeah, good route. Quick feet, man. Dude. 
And I love seeing that too, because sometimes, sometimes he'll make these big moves, but I love seeing him make little moves too. It's not just this like all this big movement everywhere. It's just little subtle. Just well, right here, he going. settles down. If you look at this, he just settles right down. A good target. Keeps him ahead of the chains. Picks up the first. Nice cut. Man, how many, how many yards, like, <laughs> how many yards side to side did he move with that jump cut? Right. Oof. And it's real efficient too. There's it's not. Clean. Yeah, there's no waste. Momentarily, steps. he just moved three yards to the right. Like, but he, he's able to keep his momentum, which a lot yep. of guys can't do. Patience here. Oh, how about this for a comp? How about Trey Mason? See, I like it. People are gonna get have like a negative connotation with that. Oh no. See, I mean, I I wasn't like breaking down guys like I am now. Back when he was coming out, so it's tough for me to to comp him. I know you've been in doing this for how long, Nick? No, oh, geez, since I was in the womb, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> You, you, and that's the problem I have with comps, Garrett, is people think of like NFL, all stuff. I think of all these guys from college. Right, exactly. And that's what it should be. It should be their evaluation as they're coming out of college. Yep. But but you know how people are. They're going to, yeah. you say Trey Mason, you're like, oh, so you think Edwards Lair sucks? No. Right, yeah. Or, or I said or I said C-Mike, and they think the same thing. Well, C-Mike had so much hype, you right. know? Yeah. I, yeah, my fantasy teams now. <laughs> That guy had so much hype so many times. People so wanted many times. him to hit so And then bad. he even like got beat out by like rolls. Like, oh, yeah. Hey, remember that, good catch that blocking there. right there from Jefferson, Jarrett? Yeah. This thing just getting pushed around. It's terrible. Yeah. We were, with, we were watching that with Ray, right? Yeah. This is such a bad blocker, Garrett. Justin Jefferson. Hey, he's willing, though. Oh, uh, no. Uh, but literally uh, the next day, Nick, I get on Twitter and uh, – Garrett's talk about how good of a blocker Justin See, Jefferson is. See, I think he's is. a good blocker. <laughs> I watched the Texas game. I thought he did a good job in the Texas game. Yeah, he had a thread or something. I was like, oh, man, literally that night we, we were like, I didn't know. I didn't watch blocker. you guys. I, I didn't watch you guys. Well, you're going to disagree with me, Ray, and Jared, so. Hey, yeah. could have been one bad game. Could have been one bad game. But he did get it going later in the game we watched, but it was, just wasn't. Good, yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't. You, you'll have to go back and look at the ones I posted. It's not CD Lamb. That's for sure. Well, no. And I never said he was a great blocker. I said he was a willing blocker. Yeah. Wow. See, I'm not that high on Justin Jefferson, as I think most really? people are going to be. No. Nope. I think he's getting a little overhyped just due to the national championship and the playoffs. Where, where, would, you, where would you take him roughly? Uh, probably Among middle, the receivers. Uh, I think I have him at like eight or nine right now. I don't know. I'm not willing to say yet. Probably like 12. Okay. He's the second rounder for me. Well, yeah, that would be that would be second round for me if he's the, if he's wide receiver seven. Oh, I thought you meant overall seven, right? No, uh, no, 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 wide receiver. C Dog Woke said, "Do you guys feel like Clyde edwards alaire is one of the safer guys? Seems like his floor is kind of James Whiteish. Yeah, I, I mentioned James White before. He is definitely safer because, and I talked about this. I had this thread." on Twitter uh, maybe a month ago or so, just talking about pass catching and the difference that it is. So Austin Eckler had 500 rushing yards on the year, and then Nick Chubb had, what, 1,400 on the year? Yeah. And Eckler was ranked higher in PPR purely based on receptions. So Chase pass catchers, and as you can see, Edward Delaire is amazing pass catching. Absolutely. And that's going to happen And he's going to make better. yards after the catch, after he catches the ball. Like, look at, dude, look He's at that. He's always fighting. What is, how, who is the cyborg? <laughs> cyborg. Uh, I mean, like, he kept his balance, put his. What do we think of an Eckler comp? Uh, he's more, he's stronger, I think, and more elusive than Eckler. Yeah. I like the Eckler what? comp. I've said that quite a few times, I think, just because but, their games are similar. But I, but do I also think... wonder what's going to happen to Eckler with no rivers. Yeah. Somebody throw on the ball down the field a little bit more. Dance with me. Dang. Yeah. And see, I, I don't know that Bob, there's. Bob? Oh, that's. 
Come on. Uh, it's not even fair, dude. Yeah, I, it's just natural too. It is. Now, now, like, where was he before this year? You know, like, where, where was this? It is interesting. Trouble? He got in trouble, right? Um, or I don't know if he got in trouble, but he was defending himself in a robbery and he shot somebody and he killed somebody. Oh, seriously? Yeah, he was being robbed or something like that and he was defending himself and he shot and killed someone and I forget. I don't think he got in trouble for it. I, I... No, I don't think he got in trouble for it. I didn't yeah. know that it was the year before though. I'm not positive. It could have been his freshman year. Ray was talking to me about it. I think it was on the I last one. I need to one. get more details on that. Didn't we talk about that. it on the last one? Mm, maybe. Or it was off air. Oh, here we go. See, hold on. Go back. Another thing I love. Okay, so These one of the route. routes are deadly. But he catches this and then pauses it like right here. I'll go back. On the 30, he knows that guy's going to tackle him. So then he widens right there. He's like, nope, I'm going to get more yards here. Savvy. He widens and gets more yards. So smart. It's great feel. Oh, gosh. Um, yeah. Nice catch. Chris, what do you mean December of 18? I, I think he's talking about that that robbery thing. So that was his sophomore year or when he was 18? Or was that this year? The shooting. Yeah, what? what oh, December of 2018. Gotcha. I thought you meant December well, yeah, I'm trying to figure out what was he, 18 years old, December of 18, this year, 2018. Yeah. The, yeah. While we're paused here, um, thanks, everybody, for stopping by the, the stream. Uh, yeah. We're going to be doing this Wednesday nights, 10.30 p.m., so feel free to come in and check it out. Uh, Monday nights, we're going to be doing a Mock Draft Monday series where I think around 9.30 p.m., um, Zach, Superflexer FF, will be on him and Rich and – Eric Quartz were on last night. No, wait, Monday night. Two nights ago. Yeah, and that, that went really well. So I think that'll be a fun series that we're starting to. We'll do some rookie mocks, super flex mocks, stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we got a full Twitch schedule that we're starting to get down here. So glad you guys are tuning in. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't Hopefully think. you're finding value in this. Feel free to drop any questions, too. I mean, we're happy to answer them just kicking back watching some film yeah I'm going to go back through some comments that would be alright yeah, yeah. please do because I feel like I'm missing them one one a long time ago and this is not running back related someone said something about Rager I know it's running back night but where do y'all see Jalen Rager in this wide receiver class I have him as my wide receiver three right now Behind Lamb and um, Judy. After well. our last tw Twitch, you had Higgins? What happened I got to Higgins, Higgins love? Started. I had Higgins real low before that Twitch. Yeah, I remember then, talking about that with you, Jared. After that sure. night, I went back and watched some more tape, and I, I moved him up a lot. Just I missed all the little subtleties in his game and his hands at the line and him just finding open spots in the zone, his jump ball ability. And Can you all go that. back to that one? Or do you have Higgins? All, those, all the way back to that one, if you could, please. Oh, my bad. Like, this is just so subtle as he, like, sifts through this. Okay, slightly left. You know, he just works through. It's a bad block. Like, I should have blocked him, but he just... It's so subtle. Mm -hmm. I think subtle cuts are one thing that people miss a lot. Yeah. That's something he can do. And, he, and he's a slight build, so he only has to move a little bit to only get half the defender, you know? You see the question that just popped up? When do we get to see Garrett rip apart AJ Till? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, probably not soon enough. Probably not soon enough. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to try to keep my Christian witness while I, while I watch AJ Dillon. So if we go up one, uh, Valor has mean? Higgins. Higgins is his wide receiver two spot. I might have him wide receiver two right now over Judy. Hmm. Really? So where do you have Rager oh. then? Uh, I don't. I'm not comfortable ranking okay. outside of my top three right now. Okay. Um, I need because more of it's... Chenault and all them, but yeah. Uh, for me, I do like I do like Higgins. I have him at five right now. Um, 
among the wide receivers. And I have uh, Rager at three, but I'll Keep say the gap is pretty close with those top two. Um, it is, it, they might even be all, all the same tier for me. See, he waits to the last second to cut out here because this linebacker's coming in. Yeah. See, now he could have went left here. Yeah, I know 55 is kind of going in front of Moss, but he's got 73 over there. But I think he sees that he's got more blockers this way. And yeah, like you said, wait the last second. And because of his angle of running, he can avoid nine. Mm -hmm. I will like, say oh, this. A little wider. Boom. When, when he, for most of these runs, when he's running between the tackles, I have almost never seen him have to uh, elude a blocker in the backfield. And that's a thing for him that has been really, really nice it's not going to be that easy at the next level. And so I do worry a little bit about the between the tackles just because he's not really ever had to deal with that. I'm not saying he can't do it. I'm just saying we haven't really had to see him have to do that. Yeah. But he's better at that than others. Yeah. See, I, right. I, I would not think that'd be a problem Taylor. for him. Yeah. He's so quick and he's yeah. very natural with, you so know, like, if there's someone presented I, in his face, he's quick to making a, a decision and making a move. Like, I could see him thriving in Seattle behind a bad old line and just doing his thing. Him and Russell just... They've been looking for somebody that can catch the ball out of the backfield. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep uh, Carson as the hammer, and then he has this other role. It's going to be the James White over there. They'd fit perfect. I'd love that, actually. Mm -hmm. Sorry, see, Penny I'll, Truthers. I'll there. <laughs> What'd you say, I, Garrett? I said, we'll see how healthy they are. Right, I don't. I don't like the push that they let linemen do. I don't like it. Yeah, they they need to whistle that dead sooner. It's just it's like a play now, you know. Yeah, I'd do it. Oh, oh, fast don't lie. I don't. He's juicy there more going. than I thought he had. Yeah, I mean, I think we talked about it last time we were on here. Nick is out of high school. He ran a four four. Now that's out of high school, but All right. he's done it. All right, RB one. Here we are. How much? How much did he weigh? How much did he weigh at high school? I don't know. I'm sure he wasn't two fifteen. Um, we have another question uh, about how do we feel about uh, Antonio Gibson, uh, Benny Lemay, and uh, now Evans. I have not scouted at all, um, so I I can't speak to to Evans yet. Evans is about um, right? What's that? Is it Evans Vatak? I f I believe on it. I honestly have not. I haven't seen anything on him yet, so um, I don't I don't feel I don't feel good about saying anything. Lemay, I'm not really interested in. Um, you know, I know he had a decent Senior Bowl, um, but he's not very big. Um, you know, he's kind of more of a bowling bowl. I mean, he has a similar body composition to, um, you know, to uh, Edward Delaire, but he doesn't have nearly the 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 quickness the speed the hands um you know and so i i'm not very interested in him antonio Ooh. gibson has oh. uh peaked my Sorry, interest though sure. so, um, i i think he uh i think he could actually be a lot better than i even realized oh, especially when we had you know originally patrick taylor was the starter there then we had uh, kenneth gainwell ball out and um you know the interesting thing is you know at the end of the season they they gave him a little more run and he did quite a bit with it, and he looked good in the Senior Bowl. So, of those three, far and away right now, Gibson's the one I'm interested in. But I haven't looked at Evans literally at all. So, yeah, this is at App State. I, I did. I watched. I think one tape of Evans. The the problem that I have with um, going small school running back and D two D three, you know, you have to be such a great athlete, I think, to make it to be fantasy football relevant period and when you go small school i think we get so infatuated with looking for the sleepers that i think sleeper receivers are much more better to chase from smaller schools than it is running backs yeah because running backs it's so much dependent on I'm not yeah, opportunity to, i haven't watched those injuries, guys yet all that stuff so i don't have an opinion Like, how many times is he lowering his shoulder one-on-one -on -one with the defender? Like, right here, mm -hmm. he cuts slightly inside, so he's not taking on the whole guy. Gosh, he's so smart. He's got the natural leverage being so small. Mm -hmm. 
he, he uses it too. You see him slip slip tacklers that are just kind of going right over his shoulders a lot. Yeah. What a good bounce. That's that's patience right there. Yeah. yeah. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Boom. Hit that outside. Love that. It's fast that. here too, man. Now, why does he Freaking... cut inside here? I'll, I'll, I'll go negative. <laughs> okay. Nick's right always here, like, say come on. Bad. Cut inside a one, you know? Yeah. I mean. Uh, okay. Following up on that, Nick, is that more how you draft in rookie drafts? Wide receivers, better value. Like, yeah. So I would go like when I'm talking like third round or later, normally that's what I would chase. Because running backs, I mean, you're chasing, I mean, a lot of guys will get cut if you're looking day two, you know, like I'm thinking of Chicago drafted Kareth White in the seventh round last year. You know, they're, they're more special teams guys, you know, it, a lot of those guys don't make the team. So I would chase, you know, a lot more receivers there. I would not chase tight ends in rookie drafts in the third round because it takes wide, or tight ends some time to develop. So wide receivers is where I'm chasing there. I mean, think of See, recently. Yeah. I, it's fun. Everybody has their strategies, you know. Like mm -hmm. my strategy is when I'm in like the third round is I'll take running backs because usually if they're on a team and they're a backup and I'm stashing them, so to speak, and then the person in front of them does get hurt, they have more path to value in that case, and then I'm usually quick to sell them off if I can, and just trying to kind of rinse and repeat on that. 